Good evening, and you're watching the Salt of Oman Television English News. First, the headlines. Upon royal directives of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos and fulfilling humanitarian pledges of the United Nations in Yemen, an agreement with the authorities in Sana held the brigadier to contact his family for the first time in five years. The meeting of Board of Governors of Central Bank of Oman stresses that the banking sector assets achieved a growth by 8% last year. The Sultan achieves an increase by 59% during 2018 in fish production. And the Sultan and Japan holds the fifth round of political dialogue. Well, those are the headlines and all the news in detail. As per royal directives of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos to continue exerting efforts on the humanitarian situation witnessed by Yemen and to fulfill the pledge undertaken by the United Nations and some Yemeni authorities, the Sultan has successfully reached an agreement with the authorities concerned in Sana'a regarding the situation of Brigadier Faisal Rajab, who could contact his family for the first time in five years. The Sultan hopes to make steps towards finding solutions for this situation of all prisoners and missing people in Yemen. The Omani banking sector with its current status is capable to deal with the existing ch uh, challenges as it achieved a growth by 8% in its assets last year. This came during the meeting of Board of Governors of Central Bank of Oman, CBO meeting, that shed light on economic and financial developments in the Sultan during 2018, including the Banking Sector Performance Index, which clarified that sector is capable of providing funding requirements for economic activities, as well as the initiatives of diversifying the production base of the Sultan. The meeting also focused on approved the Islamic banking draft regulations in addition to discussing the activities of econo economic and financial studies colleges as well as their role in raising the omanization percentage in local banks to around 94%. The meeting was headed by His Excellency Sultan bin Salim al Habsi, Deputy Chairman of CBO Board of Governors. The Sultan achieved an increase by 59% during 2018 in fish production. This was revealed in the Food Security Workshop of Gulf Cooperation Council countries. The Sultan achieved advanced levels and had been classified with the best developed countries for the year 2018, according to the World Indicator of Food Security. The opening ceremony or the workshop aims to come out with a joint vision that serves the strategic uh, di direct direction of the countries in uh, managing and achieving food security. The opening ceremony was held under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Fuad bin Jafar Asajwani, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth. The fifth round of political dialogue between the Sultan and Japan was held at the Foreign Ministry today. The Omani side was headed by His Excellency Said Badr bin Hamad al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Foreign Ministry, His Excellency Masahisa Sato, State Minister of Foreign Affairs, and led the, the Japanese side. The two sides discussed the friendly relations between the two countries, means of strengthening them, as well as the constructive cooperation in various fields of diplomacy, economy, and culture, based on the results of the visit of the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to the Sultanate in 2014. The two countries stress the keenness to continue their support for these fields and the importance of promoting trade development and economic and investment partnership. 
On the political level, the two sides reviewed various issues and developments on the regional and international arenas and affirmed their support for all peaceful efforts aimed at resolving the thorny differences through dialogue and understanding, thus enhancing security, peace in regional and international stability. The Sultan took part in the World Summit on the Information Society, WSIS. The forum reviewed topics related to cybersecurity and employment of technologies in education, health and economy. The forum was organized by International Telecommunication Union in cooperation with a number of organizations in Geneva. The Omani delegation during the forum presented a number of work papers to shed light on some successful electronic projects that were applied by government institutions in various fields. The main committee for entrepreneurship award revealed details of the fourth edition which witnessed an increase in the financial value allocated for winners by 180,000 Omani Rials this year. The public authority for SME development, Riyada, in cooperation with Oman Telecommunications Company, Oman Tel, organized the award for the second consecutive term. Still to come on news bulletin. The 18th CAS Students Forum is launched at Sohar College of Applied Sciences. Welcome back to the news. Exchanging viewpoints and discussing a number of issues of common concern between the Sultan and the United States topped the meeting of His Excellency Lieutenant General Hassan bin Mohsen Ashrafi, Inspector General of Police and Customs, and Vice Admiral James Malloy, Commander of the U.S. Naval Central Command, and his accompanying delegation, who is visiting the Sultan. His Excellency Mohammed bin Nasser al rasbi Secretary General of the Ministry of Defense, also received Vice Admiral James Malloy, Commander of the U.S. Naval Central Command, and his accompanying delegation, who is visiting the Sultan. During the meeting, they exchanged point of views and discussed a number of issues of common concern. Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith Al Nabhani, Chief of Staff of the Sultan's Armed Forces, also received Vice Admiral James Malloy, Commander of the U.S. Naval Central Command, and his accompanying delegation, who is visiting this Sultan. They exchanged points of views and discussed a number of issues of common concern between the Sultan and the United States. Strengthening existing military cooperation and coordination between the Sultan and the United Kingdom. Top discussions of Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith and Abhani, Chief of Staff of Sultan's Armed Forces, with Major Robert Jones, Commander of the British Joint Forces, and his accompanying delegation who is visiting the Sultan. The two sides exchanged views of points and discussed a number of military issues of mutual concern. Exchanging viewpoints and discussing a number of issues of common concern between the Sultan and the United Kingdom. Top discussions at the meeting between Major General Salim bin Salim Qatan, Commander of the National Defence College, with Major Robert Jones, Commander of the British Joint Forces, and his accompanying delegation who is visiting the Sultan. Major Robert Jones, Commander of the British Joint Forces and his accompanying delegation, visited the Maritime Security Center. The guests listened to a comprehensive brief on missions and roles of the center, representing Command Maritime Security Operations 
against marine risks and roles of the center in coordinating between Sultan's armed forces and the security and civil bodies in the Sultanate. A delegation of the National Defense and War Causes at Jordan, headed by Brigadier General Mohammed Fallah al jafra today visited the National Defense College, NDC. The visiting guest was briefed on the NDC, its facilities, and the modern equipment that contribute to achieving the NDC's vision in preparing the national leadership cadres. The delegation of the National Defense and War Causes at Jordan, headed by Brigadier General Mohammed Fallah al jafra today visited the Sultan's Armed Forces Museum at Beit al Falaj Fort. The delegation toured the museum sections and reviewed the historical stages of Oman civilization and its role in different fields. The guests also viewed the historical manuscripts and models, as well as Omani architecture. He was also briefed on the progress enjoyed by the Sultan's Armed Forces during the prosperous era of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. Sezad and Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry in the Governorate of Al Wusta organized Dukum Fourth Society and Economy Forum. The event was presided over by His Excellency Sultan bin Salim Habsi, Deputy Chairman of the Board of Governors of the Central Bank of Oman. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi. Under the theme Smart Cities Economy, Dukum Fourth Society and Economy Forum, focused on the investment opportunities in Dokom and the incentives offered by Dokom Special Economic Zone Authority. We presented a presentation which contained two parts. The first one is the uh, promoting the uh, Dokom and the opportunities. Second one is why we feel uh, is uh, the smart city uh, implementation in Dokom is important at this time. And therefore we really feel uh, that uh, Dokum is a green field and it is the right time. Also, we have uh, managed to uh, visit different countries uh, who are uh, the pioneer in the smart city to gain or to learn from their experience. More than 600 specialists from inside and outside the Sultanate attended the forum to discuss future economy in light of the fourth industrial revolution initiatives of smart cities industry and the local and international smart cities experiences. The smart city concept is a very important concept these days because designing smart cities it will enable um, establishments and um, countries to enca encapsulate all the technologies in, this, in the new setup of uh, the ecosystem that the future generations would, uh, would live in. Uh, for Adokum, for example, it's a new green field uh, which will enable um, uh, us, I think at this time, to set up um, a new, new cities with the new uh, technologies. And, um, and, and that will help us to for um, more future economic and cost-effective uh, economic model. We as a public developer from Korea, one of the leading smart city developer in Korea, bringing our expertise and our experience in developing smart city and applying the smart city technologies that have been proven to work in Korea, we can bring that to uh, Oman, to developing a smart city in Oman. On the sidelines of the forum, an agreement was signed between Dokom Special Economic Zone Development Company and Romantel. In addition, the event included an exhibition for small and medium enterprises and for the Korean companies specializing in smart city technology. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Salah Khalfan al Rahbi, Muscat. With the aim to raise awareness on the importance of following uh, the good practice and ways that ensure the safety and, and quality of food stuff, the activities of Food Safety Week 2018 started. The event was implemented by the Minister of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources. The week will include theat theatrical skills on some food safety issues and poetry recitation performed by some students. 
The week also will include an inspection campaign and some contests such as the best restaurants in the Salted in terms of hygiene and food safety. The 18th CAS Students Forum with its various activities was launched yesterday at the Sohar Colleges of Applied Sciences. The event was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Mohanna bin Saif al the Governor of North al -Batna. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan Rahbi has more details. Under the theme, Future Career in Light of Artificial Intelligence, the 18th CAS Students Forum began yesterday at Suhar College of Applied Sciences, aiming to familiarize students with the nature of artificial intelligence and its impact on all aspects of life. From the beginning, the Ministry of Higher Education uh, aims to provide the environment uh, which all students can get benefit from it. Uh, today we are here actually and to see a lot of works for our students. Uh, we discover uh, talents and uh, this is maybe uh, a good chance for them to find uh, extra curricula and to connect actually the extra curricula with the academic uh, programs. Uh, hoping inshallah during the uh, upcoming uh, three days our students from all uh, CAS colleges to get benefit from all these exhibitions and other uh, events. Students from Colleges of Applied Sciences in Ibri, Nizwa, Suhar, Sur, Salala and Rustaq College of Education are taking part in the forum, showcasing their innovative, scientific and artistic projects related to the theme of the forum. That gathering is so important for us as students because it's a way to express our, uh, our ideas and it is a way that we can express our intelligence. So that kind of... Uh, of meeting for a student give us uh, the way to start our uh, maybe our future or to build our future to know to make uh, people or all the, uh, the college understand that we us that we are as a people can or as a student can express our intelligence by a lot of ways and a lot of ideas or a lot of field well, I'm so thankful for participating in such uh, exhibition uh, this exhibition has given us uh, a lot of opportunity to be more creative, uh, be more, uh, have more idea, to get uh, know old school of art and new schools such as design and put the words and letters and drawings and paintings and uh, make all school and or uh, and make new art for uh, such uh, uh, the art of uh, area in Oman. It's good experience I have got from this uh, competition, my first time uh, coming to this competition and uh, I, I always say that it's good skills to improve ourselves and improve our skills in this like for these competitions. Over a period of three days, the event will witness a number of competitions and activities between CAS students, including debate, poetry, theatrical plays, best radio team, and Islamic chanting. Indeed, the forum is an important platform to nurture creativity among college students and help them develop lifelong skills. From Suhar College of Applied Sciences, Saleh Makhalfan Rahbi, North Al-Batina, Governorate. The Minister of Health launched the first health care manual for acquired immune deficiency syndrome AIDS which aims to the early diagnosis of the cases and guiding patients to the methods of treatment. More details in foreign report by Abdullah bin Ahmed Arubay. A ceremony was held this morning to launch HIV in primary health care manual in the presence of healthcare staff representing healthcare institutions in the Sultanate. The manual, of which its objectives includes uh, providing health care to patients living with HIV, AIDS in the institutions of primary health care and private sectors, the importance of early detection for HIV AIDS patients, providing the support, advice and medical care for patients uh, with uh, chronic diseases as well well as guiding them for treatment. Today we are launching a new project which is the HIV manual for the care of for the care of HIV people living with HIV in the primary health care and in the private sector. And the aim is to integrate the care of these patients within the primary health care so people can have an accessible 
care and treatment nearer to where they live. Nowadays, HIV is a chronic disease, and many of these patients, are, of patients living with HIV, are suffering from non-communicable diseases, for example, uh, hypertension, diabetes, uh, morbid obesity, and we would like to integrate their care within their primary care physicians and within the private health sector so that it will make it much easier uh, for them. National HIV AIDS control program from the time uh, the surveillance and supporting or reporting of cases in Oman was initiated, the Minister of Health has taken various measures to face this 20th century pandemic, keeping in consideration the importance of the involvement of all relevant sectors in the fight against HIV AIDS. The HIV AIDS control section was established in 1987. The most important take home message uh, for your viewers is that if you are diagnosed with HIV, it is not a death sentence. You can live a long, healthy and fruitful life. If you take your medication, you cannot pass the infection on to your partner or to your children. Um, and the uh, life expectancy that you should expect to have will be no different from someone without the infection. So that is the good news. Sadly, there is no uh, easy cure for it, but the treatments available nowadays are fantastic. They have transformed the lives of many hundreds of thousands of people. I think Oman, as I said before, should be proud of itself in terms of the way it has tackled HIV as a problem. For Oman, as a member of the Middle East and North African states, it is clearly one of the more sensitive issues to deal with uh, culturally. Um, and Oman has managed to do it in a way uh, which is culturally sensitive, uh, but also in a way which is very thoughtful in how it uh, allows the strategy to be applied to its population. With a proper treatment, people living with HIV can now expect to live long and healthier lives. The launching ceremony followed by a workshop which touched upon HIV care in Oman and the role of the private sector and primary health care in HIV care. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rabi'i, Sultanate of Oman Television, Masqat. Now for the general forecast around the Sultanate, clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of high low clouds and fog late at night and early morning of the coastal uh, coast of the Arabian Sea. Winds will be south easterly to south light to moderate and still be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we enter tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again.
upon royal directives of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos and uh, fulfilling humanitarian pledges of the United Nations in Yemen, an agreement with the authorities in Sana helped the Brigadier to contact his family for the first time in five years. The meeting of Board of Governors of Central Bank of Oman stresses that the banking sector assets achieved a growth by 8% last year. The Santa achieves an increase by 59% during 2018 in fish production. And the Santa and Japan hold the fifth round of political dialogue. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here in the newsroom and the studios. Thanks for your time. Good night.